Hi kids, it's Pastor Dan and it's time for Kids Church. I'm glad you're here today. Did you ever wonder why sometimes words used in church are hard to understand? Sometimes that's because they're big words, words that grown-ups know and that kids don't know. But sometimes they're just because the words are old. They're words that were used in the church a long time ago and they're not words that are used very often anymore in the language that we speak, which is English in America. Sometimes these words have a different meaning than what even grown-ups think they mean. I'm going to teach you one of those, those things today because it's a special thing. There's a word, there are words that are used in church. Sometimes people will say to, to God, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You've heard us say that in the Lord's Prayer. But did you ever wonder what thy means and thou means? Thy means your, you, yours. And thou means you. It's an old fashioned word that we don't use in English anymore. We just say, we just say you and yours. We don't say thou and thy or thine. But back when the Bible was first written down in English, from the original language that it was written in, people did talk that way. But the, here's the funny thing. I think it's interesting. At that time, people said thou and thy for you and yours, not when they were speaking especially to somebody important, like a king. They would say you and yours when they spoke to a king. Your majesty. What would you like for breakfast? When they were talking to somebody that they knew well and that they loved, like our moms and dads or our brothers and sisters, then they would say, what would thou like for breakfast? Here is thy toast. <laughs> that sounds funny to us because it's so different than the way we talk today. When people talk that way in church, they're usually talking to God. When they talk to God, they want to be respectful. And so we came to think sometimes that when we say, thy will be done, that we were speaking very formally, very specially, very respectfully to God in a way that we wouldn't speak to other people. When what it really means in those hymns and in those prayers and in those Bible translations is that we are close to God, that we love God, that we are like in somebody in God's family, speaking to a parent, somebody that we know and that we trust. So when you hear those words in a song or in a prayer, or when we say the Lord's Prayer, remember that what they really mean is that God is close to us. God is somebody we love, somebody we trust, somebody we feel like family with. So here's a hymn that we can sing that maybe will remember, remind us of that. It goes, lead me, Lord, lead me in thy righteousness. Make thy way plain before my face. For it is thou, Lord, thou, Lord, only that makest me dwell in safety. We sing that way to God sometimes because those hymns are very old, but also because it reminds us that even when we use words like that, God is somebody close to us. God loves us. God cares for us. We are part of God's family. And so we never have to be afraid when we're with God. I hope you'll have a good week. I hope you've enjoyed this time together. Can we pray together? God, we love you so much. We appreciate, we are so grateful, we're so happy that you love us and that you care for us and you promise to be with us always. Amen. Have a great week, kids. We'll see you soon. See you next time.